So in this tutorial, I will try to get the data, the maps from our scan to our new uh, morph. Because right now, does uh, model and um, scan model obviously have different UVs, so you can't apply textures from uh, your scan to does, and we want them to be there because the textures are really high res and really awesome. So uh, we will start from um, bringing in those textures in, uh, into our scan. They come as EXR and for some reason uh, I can't bring them into ZBrush, it just crashes my ZBrush so I have to do uh, JPEGs and um, as you can see I flipped both uh, EXRs, both displacements, and displacement and diffuse in Photoshop. You can also do the same in ZBrush. You don't have to do it here. You can import the texture and just clip and just do flip V. Okay, so well, first of all, let's add subdivisions. So I want I'm, I'm hitting Control D, uh, which allows me to add subdivisions. So I want a lot uh, because we're going to project texture on two points uh, so the more points we have the more information we will have so 17 millions is good enough for me and here we're going to go to texture import bring our albedo first albedo o diffuse I'll give it a second beautiful and uh, let's bring this placement map. So, import and displacement. That was a multi channel um, displacement which comes with those um, models. And I want to say displacement on. I'm going to turn off the so for now, I'm actually going to remove this texture. I'll just deal with displacement first. So, should do new, well, okay, new empty texture for now. And uh, yeah, let's deal with displacement. So, first of all, I want to have uh, my morph target. Morph targets are great. So often I forget them and then just makes my life miserable when I don't have a return point. So, morph target. Now let's add intensity to this and um, my middle point was kind of funny um, because I already did it so no so let's say create displacement map oh sorry no apply displacement map I think I want some more so let's do it again As you can see, it start giving me those like funny little issues. It's because the because um, the texture is eight bit. Like if it was thirty two, I wouldn't have to do this thing with the weird middle uh, point. But it is fine for now. I'm happy for that. Now let's uh, do uh, texture. So bring in our again import import our texture and bring it in here and create and let's add it to our points that would be polypaint polypaint and here Polypane from texture, it will ask us to turn on this button here, so polypane from texture. Cool. So this data right now it's not coming from texture. It's every point has its own color information. Um, at this stage I would recommend to save your file because we're going to jump into projection. Okay, so 
let's project stuff. Let's, uh, as you remember, I hid some stuff, um, mask some stuff, so our projection is easier. But before I actually do masks, let's add subdivisions. Control D, Control D, Control D. Four is good enough for me. Okay, before you do that, again, please, as you remember, as I said, morph targets. Just to make sure. So, and now Control D, Control D, Control D. Four, great. So now with Shift D. I'm bringing it back. My subdivisions are there. It just I do not see them anymore, and um, uh, it usually changes the shape of my um, shape of my uh, base mesh. As you can see, I just switched, and um, it brought back some details because smoothing kind of did it. The subdivision did it. Cool. So now let's. Select our face, invert, mask it, and let's try projection. Let's try first on smaller levels. So, sub tool, let's do project all. Sure, doesn't matter, won't matter in the end. Okay. This looks good. Next subdivision, I just hit D, project all. This looks good. Next subdivision. Sometimes we'll create some issues in the corner of the eyes and mouth. We will deal with that when they will appear. Okay, looking good. And then again, the last one, D. So before that, I actually want to, um, on this one, on 1 million, I want to store my morph target. So I'm going to go to my morph target, delete existing one, and store this one. And uh, now I'm going to the next level of subdivisions, 4, and project it again, project all. So now some issues will arrive. Actually, it's not looking bad. As you can see, we have some um, crazy angles coming out. I'm going to ignore it for now. Uh, I'll just um, did it with the shift. Um, so I removed some of the some of the errors projected pr projecting gave us. I also do not get what happened here, so I'm going to fix it. Unfortunately, now when we will try to project this corner will be a problematic one, so hopefully it was the last one. Cool, this is great. I'm also... Um, here would be a good, good moment to sculpt some details, some additional details if you want some. So don't forget to turn off RGB mode and just... I'm just making my wrinkles a little stronger. This is a good place to go nuts in your extra sculpting. I'm not going to go crazy, just a sample. Cool, so this looks great. Um, if you have those issues with uh, crazy corners sticking out from everywhere, I got lucky here, I almost do not have them, um, try to go back to the uh, subdivision before and use morph target to remove them. Also, as you can see, I can remove them with shift, but then I lose the details, um, so be careful with that. Um, and uh, if it's really, really out of control, Try to mask out areas which give you the most problem before you project. Um, but I'm happy with that, so let's do the textures now. 
uh, to do the textures. It's kind of interesting because uh, those models have have edims, and uh, it means that they have more than one texture space in them. So if you remember when I so when I go back and I do my mesh and switch my poly polypene polygroups to out UV groups with UV out groups with UV. So let's remove the um, masks. Um, actually, before we do all of that, like this is again, this is the great moment to save and duplicate. So this model is great. Like just keep it. Don't touch it. Work on the duplicated one. Okay, and from here, let's go back to the lower level, level of subdivisions and let's um, do auto group with UVs. So what you can see here is actually um, your UV um, spaces. So um, because I've been doing does characters for quite some time, so I know that uh, face is one, head is another one, body is another one, arms, legs. So um, in order to get right textures, like let me show you what will happen if you will try to get your textures without isolating some parts. So I'm going to texture, texture map, and uh, make sure your UV map is 8K because, you know, we want all those nice details, so we want the biggest maps possible. And now if you do new from polypaint, oh, I hope it will not crash. So you see this madness because all the um, all the U beams got overlapped and uh, projected over and over again. So to get the textures you want to isolate certain parts. So I know I have face so I'm going to first isolate only my face. And now when I going to say hey hey um get me like oh here you see those little fuckers but it's okay it's just for, te for the textures um but yeah now i can say hey i want texture and i'm saying new from poly paint and now my texture looks like it should be. So I say clone texture, uh, texture, and flip vertically, and export, and uh, save it as PNG or any other format you like. Well, I already did this whole thing, so I have them saved already. Um, and now let's do uh, our normal or displacement. So I'm going to Click Shift D, Shift D, Shift D um, to switch to my lowest la level of subdivision. Going to displacement map or normal map, depending on what you uh, prefer in your render. I usually grab both, both and play with either combination of them or just depending on which one looks better. So create displacement map, and now clone displacement map. This is alpha. This is not texture, so you need to go to alpha, flip vertically, and from here, from here you want to export, again same deal, save it as TIFF, and now normal map, say create normal map, and um, same as textures, this is texture obviously, clone normal map, texture, vertically and expert. So when you do that, now, as I said, I already have it all saved, um, just walking you through the process. Now let's look at the other parts. As you can see now the texture is applied so things are looking crazy. It's okay. 
Uh, and now let's do the other side of the head. So I picked it with shift, shift control and click. And now going to the higher subdivision. Saying, hey, I want new texture from polypane. It's here. And um, going back to the lowest level, saying, hey, I want displacement map. And I want normal map. So you save it too, and the next step will be uh, bringing. Don't look at the craziness, it's textures on and UD Mr. Nose match. Um, next fa phase will be um, going back to Does, um, posing our character, and bringing that character into Cinema 4D and uh, rendering it with the textures we just created.